Hi, this is Dr. Graves with the CSUN Geography Department and geographyplanet.org. This is a short video tutorial that is designed to help you learn how to join points to polygons in a GIS. Uh, and this version of the video is for uh, Arc GIS Pro rather than Arc Map. There's an older version of that available on this channel, uh, which shows basically the same thing. So you want to learn how to do this because this is one of the most powerful tools in GIS. We have some layers here. Um, I have provided for you, um, if you're in my class, a layer of points called San Fernando Valley uh, Donut Shops. So I'll change that before I save it. And um, you may have a layer similar to this if you uh, just finished the geocoding lab. So you, you could do this as well. Um, it'll be a little less interesting because most of the points are in a single polygon. Um, so I thought it would be a little more interesting to uh, count the number of donut shops per zip code in uh, the San Fernando Valley. And, and we can look at some of these, like here in uh, Encino, it appears that there's one, two, uh, three donut shops in in this zip code here. And we'll, oh, that's Tarzana. And so we'll keep that in mind as we move forward. I'll zoom out just a little bit. This is a reasonably straightforward process. You have a layer of points and you have a layer of polygons in the background. In order to join them, right click on your polygon layer and from the pop-up or drop-down menu, select Joins and Relates and choose the Spatial Join option. So the target feature is Los Angeles County zip codes and what the software is going to do is to build a second layer uh, that looks very much like the first one except it will have data from the join features and in this instance we're going to use the San Fernando Valley Donut Shops layer. And this is all pretty much standard and you could just click OK at this point. Um, but you should know that there are some options here. And one of the things that uh, you should be aware of is that how the, the two layers interact can be um, changed in this feature. And so one of the things that I um, often like is this one that's within or completely within. Um, so you may want to experiment with choosing some of these other options. And then the fields option is the other part of this. Let's see if I can expand all of this a little bit so it's easier to see what's going on. Notice that um, it has a zip code, PO name, state, and um, sum of block population, and these sorts of things here. These first, these top characteristics or columns of data uh, in the zip code layer. And so if you open the attribute table, you could, you could see those in the background there. So it goes over to shape length and shape area. However, the ones below here, uh, below shape length and shape area are from the donut shops layer. And so if I open that attribute table, you can see it begins with object ID, shape, facility name, address. And these are all here, except you know things like object ID. Some of these we don't need. So if you want a smaller joined output file, you could just sort of remove some of these. So we don't need how many cities are in there or how many zip codes um, or how many address, because you can't really do much with that other than count them. So we will select facility name and we will ask it to give us a count 
of businesses, right, per zip code, and that seems a, a fair thing to do. Um, we don't need the date it was inspected, but we might want, say, an average of the score. So we could ask for the mean, that's the um, cleanliness score. Uh, perhaps uh, we could get rid of uh, type, latitude, and longitude. That may or may not help us. And for maybe sales, why don't we, you could try a, a, another thing and say the, the sum of sales or maybe again the mean, but we'll just try sum um, of the sales data. And that should be enough. Click OK and the spatial join begins to run. I probably should have reminded you um, to be careful what you name it and remind you where to save it. So um, here we are. The, the new layer has drawn, but it's interesting because it's hard. I don't really like this that it doesn't, it shows up identical to the old one. So I can, if I turn the old one or the original off, we find that this new one is here and it looks similar. So maybe I'll just change the outline color to red so that we have a sense that this is something new. And let's open the attribute table. So the attribute table now has um, a join count column maximize that this this column and we could sort it um, descending which would bring our polygons that have data in them to the top and let's take a look at let's uh, clear the selection there and let's take a look at um, uh, well, uh, Tarzana here that we did before. So I'm going to click on uh, Select, and I will click Tarzana. There's Tarzana, and it says that there are three donut shops there, and that their average score, their cleanliness score, is 89.33, and their, uh, what did we do? The sum of their sales is 1340. So if we then highlight those three donut shops, still with our selection tool, and we come over here to the donut shops and ask it to um, only show us the selected donut shops. We find here are the scores, 97, 98, and ooh, 73 at Tasty's Donut. We may not want to go there. but um, And so then here should be the average in this Tarzana column for score 89.33 and 13.40 the sum of sales so uh, 13.40 that's basically a thousand and sixty five minus ten fifteen and so that is exactly 13.40 so it worked and this is a really useful feature it is part of a sequence of videos about how to join um, points to polygons and um, polygons to polygons and polygons to points. So we'll stop uh, here. Your assignment uh, will probably be to uh, take this layer and change the symbology so it's not just a single symbology but a graduated color that has the join count data in it and that did it automatically that's sort of a, a ugly color ramp so you may want to change it to something that's a little bit uh, different this might work something like that I don't know your cartography professor may uh, not enjoy it but that is the point um, let's uh, clear the selections and you will um, export this layer or this view uh, to a, a Word document and uh, make sure that you um, explain what you did. That's the end of this video.